Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Pat, and welcome back to the Queen of Wands. How y'all doing tonight? We're shaking. Alrighty. So, thank you for everybody, all the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. We're almost up to 4,000 uh, subscribers. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate the love and the support. Okay? And I want to thank Ashlyn for the um, pieces that she always gives me. This is a crystal ball ring. All right. And she also gave me a beautiful third eye necklace. All right. She seems to think that I see everything. Okay. So I just want to say thank you, Ash. And I will be wearing those in some of my videos. Okay. So I just want to go into some um, channeling energies. And I want to say thank you for all the recent people that I did um, a reading for. I really had a great time, and it seemed like we really spent some, um, you know, fun friendship time there. Okay, so thanks a lot. It was really fun. And um, the channeling energies that I've been feeling is hospital energy. Okay, someone could be um, getting out of the hospital or admitted. There could have been a surgery. Okay, and I feel like someone could be lying in regards to a pregnancy. It could be some trickery going on with that. And someone could be hiding some test results um, because the test results do not implicate pregnancy. Okay? And somebody don't want to argue about the Divine Feminine or with the Divine Feminine. And you know this is your Divine Masculine's energy. Okay? And somebody feel like it's a copycat bitch. Somebody feel like the karmic could be copycatting the divine feminine um, energy. Um, it could be like trying to turn around things, trying to act more like the divine feminine. And the karmic is getting that energy from watching these videos, trying to learn how to be a replica of the divine feminine. All right. To try to act like she's changed to hold on to your divine masculine. OK, so and um, somebody the Divine Masculine is stuck in uh, Dark Soul of the Night energy. And it's a lot of black magic that's going on with it, within this karmic um, cycle. And the Divine Masculine is stuck. And it could be due stuck in like a lusty situation. Okay? It's a lot of backstabbing and deception going on. A lot of lies. It is a sickness. All right? And here's that sentencing again. Someone is getting sentenced. And they could get, um, I hear, two or more years. It starts with two for sure. Okay? And it's jail time. And I feel like somebody don't want somebody to know about how much time they're getting. Okay? And it could be a car accident. Now, I know it's car accidents every day. But this is like a car accident within a twin flame community. Okay? And someone is concerned about their lifestyle. I feel like this is karmic and divine masculine energy. It's about getting judged. All right. And somebody could feel like somebody holds around somebody promiscuous, have multiple people that they sleep with. All right. And when I meditated on divine masculine's energy, I got panic. The divine masculine could be in a possible panic about a situation and paranoid about a situation. Okay. It could be a lot of hurt and pain going on. And I feel like the Divine Masculine could be mirroring some energy from the Divine Feminine with this hurt and pain in regards to Valentine's Day, if you guys were not together. Okay? And um, it's a big flirt out there. The Divine Masculine is being a flirt. He's like being very creative with his words. It's that player energy. That lover type of energy about how he is manipulating other karmics into his situation instead of fixing situations. He's just moving on to the next person. Okay. He's definitely hanging out. He's mingling. He's got to be the life of the party. He don't want to be abandoned. And that's why when kar one karmic walk away, when the divine feminine walk away, he's on to the next person. There's definitely um, narcissist energy here. Okay, and somebody could also have a serious illness and they burn in some results and somebody is just plain out dealing with trickery. All right, just trickery. 
it's a lot of jealous energy going on. So just be aware of that, okay? When I was meditating on the Divine Masculine's energy as I shuffle, I get this card. Addicted. He's still addicted. He's still stuck in his negative energy. Okay? And I want you guys to know that it's a lot of black magic going on out there. Okay? It's real negative. And it's making you feel drained. It's making you sleep a lot. It's making you feel insecure. Making you feel like a lot of shit is going on when it's really not. Okay? So save yourself. Take those salt baths. Cleanse your energy. Detox. Don't let this shit overtake your mind. Your mental capacity. Okay? So save yourself because the Divine Masculine is still dealing heavily in addictions. Here's the number 11, your twin flame. When I shuffle, I get the next energy of a tower moment could be happening for the Divine Masculine. All right? It could be some tower energy. All right? So I'm going to get started with this dark, um, you know, dark uh, mirror deck. Okay? And this is energies of the Divine Masculine. It's a lot of dark energy out there. And the first card that came out is... The Divine Masculine lives a trumpet of lies, okay? The energy is so dark and competitive and jealous. I just want to say that I had recorded this video. I had gotten into, into 27 minutes long. It was so fucking deep and it cut off, okay? So I ask and I meditate and I pray that the Divine Masculine... Whoa, that the Divine Masculine cut it off, they saying? Wow. I ask and I pray the Divine that I can get some of those same messages that I got back because they were so fucking strong, they were so deep, and you guys need to know. Wow. Okay? They're telling me, and this is one of the cards I had, that the Divine Masculine is living a trumpet of lies. Right now, he's very deceptive, manipulative, narcissist, and he's just living a big fucking lie. Okay? He don't want to change. He's resisting change. He's clarifying. This could be a big lie to himself. All these new beginnings he's offering karmics is a big lie. He's just off on to the next new beginning. And unfortunately, Divine Feminine is not with you. It's with multiple different new karmics. Okay? He don't want that. When he can just live his life a big lie. Okay? It's like the Divine Masculine is putting himself in a situation where he could be just fated to suffer. He's full of temptation and addiction. He's continuously taking a bite out of the poison fucking apple. These karmics, these people that he hanging around with, these environments, these fake ass friends, this toxic energy is just making him fated to suffer. He's involved with people who's doing black magic on him that's keeping him stuck in this toxic energy. He is just fated to suffer Fated to suffer due to unwilling to change and staying in conflict and lust, temptation, and addictions. And just living a big lie. Feeding everybody a big lie. And what do you know? The car came out itself because he is strictly addicted. He's addicted to lust. He's addicted to suffering. He's addicted to lying, manipulating. He's addicted to this energy. This is all he know. This is probably his upbringing. His inner childhood wounds. Of what he's seen. He could be a womanizer. Just a player. A whore. Multiple partners. Just getting people caught up in his mind fuckery. All right. He know he's doing damage and all along he just stabbing people in the back while he's getting stabbed in the back and don't even fucking see it. These divine masculines are unemotional. 
They don't even sometimes acknowledge the pain and the abuse that they're afflicting upon others because they don't have feelings or emotions. They're basically almost heartless. Leave you wounded and on to the next bitch. Narcissist energy. They have to feed their vampire addiction. Dark soul of the night. All right? Because they are downcast. They could be dealing with people who downcast. They deal with people who are in their energy. Their dark energy. This is who they connect with. This is who they feel safe with. People who are not structured, who do backstabbing shit, who sneak in conniving, who do sexual, you know, favors, you know, have threesomes, who entertain the lust and manipulation. They both feed into each other. And this is maybe the energy and the type of people that he deal with. Here's that blonde hair karmic that he could be dealing with who constantly feed into that, that addiction. This person could feel like a downcast, two downcast, full of lust and lies. You know, hey, maybe they mingle together. Okay? It's like a colorless angel. Something could have ended. Something is over. All right? And maybe a situation is over. Maybe some of this toxic energy or somebody that he was dealing with is toxic is over. Okay, but he also feel like it's almost an energy, like he don't even care. It's like the energy that he just out here and he don't even care about life itself. It's almost like he don't even care about himself. He don't even care about who he is, what he offer. Just like I said, he just wonder, is this me? It's a slight chance that he might want to change. It's a slight chance that maybe the divine is stepping in with intervention to wake up these divine masculines as to their lifestyle. But it's a small chance. and it, But they're starting to wonder, is all this lust, seduction, manipulation, narcissism, is this me? All right. Am I just colorless? To me, is the same as heartless. Just no flavor, no remorse, just only stuck in gluttony and what you can get out of the situation, out of the person to cover and feed your addiction. Okay? Just being a downcast, feeling like you always don't fit in. And that's why now you have to be the life of the party. This could have been some childhood wounds where someone maybe was feeling rejected, you know, in school, in their family, amongst their siblings. But now they got to be the life of the party and gain all of the attention. Okay? But this is somebody definitely dealing with their addiction, the divine masculine. And he is fated almost to suffer, all right? And he just totally deal with the body. The flesh, females who can offer him and feed into his addiction, sex, lust, gluttony, multiple partners, multiple ways, drugging and sexing, threesomes and orgies. It's a main part of these divine masculines addiction, porno, everything, porn, watching porn, you know. It's like they make the choice. They know what they're doing. They know what they're getting themselves involved with. But they still make that choice. All right? To live this big lie. And which is making them basically fated to suffer. All right? Because they can't change their ways. All right? And the divine is saying all they're doing is calling in the storm. All right? This could be an angry karmic who's pissed off. But this is also a dark tower moment for the Divine Masculine. There's going to be a storm. All this shit is going to end. Okay? The next energy that I want to go into, what is the Divine Masculine hiding? What is the dark energy that the Divine Masculine is hiding? 
the dark is not that dark because he now recognized that he loved you, Divine Feminine. Okay? He now recognized you and he also recognized that maybe you guys are really meant to find each other. Okay? What is the darkness? What is the secrets of the Divine Masculine? What is he hiding, Holy Spirit? We want to know. What is he hiding, Holy Spirit? He's hiding that. He wants to come together with you, Divine Feminine. He's hiding this energy that he wants to come together with you. All right? He loves you and he wants to come together. What else is the Divine Masculine hiding? All right? That you guys right now, you guys are like just friends. Or you could have told him that maybe you guys should just be friends. He's hiding the fact that um, maybe he have accepted the fact that you are just friends. But even though he want more and he wants to come together. All right. He's accepting the fact that maybe you have told him this. Or maybe this is all you see him as. Because what? He's a fucking player. And maybe you told him this because he is a damn player. Okay. He deal with multiple people. He just run in the streets. He get himself involved in multiple situations with multiple people. This is a secret of his. All right. So how can you want to come together with the divine feminine if you're dealing with multiple people and being a player, divine masculine? What else are you hiding? I told you guys he was a big fucking flirt. And that's why he's a player, a manipulator. He's out there flirting, meeting new people because he's a player. And all he do is flirt with other people. All right. He know that you're ready for this uh, commitment, for the spiritual journey. But I get the energy that the divine masculine don't even care. He don't care. He's feeding on his own addictions. He's checking his options. Even though he might feel like you're the secure one, the stability that he needs, he don't want it right now because he's getting his ego fed. Okay? What else is he hiding, Holy Spirit? What else is he hiding? All right? That he have a caged heart. He have a very caged heart. He don't know how to love properly. He don't know how to express his emotions. He's unaware of how to love you properly, Divine Fam. How to love anybody properly. And this is including karmic energy. Okay? What else is he hiding? That he could be in acceptance and acknowledging the fact that he know you're his twin flame. But he's not accepting it. Even though he has acknowledged it mentally within himself. He's not telling you. He's not ready to accept this. Because he liked being a player. Okay? He's... What else is he hiding? That he has the beast type mentality versus you have the beauty type of mentality. He still act like a beast. Still greedy and hungry. He could just come in with sexual energy. All right? Only you want one thing. You know, manipulative just energy. Just still known as the beast. Could come off as caring, but really a fucking beast. Okay. What else is he hiding? That he feel at home with you, Divine Feminine. All the love. You know, the flowers. The fire. Okay. The comfort zone. You know, reading books, sharing coffee, tea. Watching movies. He feel at home with you. He want to relax with you. But right now, he kind of stuck in this flirtatious lure mode. So be aware, Divine Feminine, that if he come around, he could still be stuck in a lure mode. You see there's a lot of snakes around this person, okay? So it shows that he's still in that snakish type of mentality, okay? To me, you still can't trust this energy, okay? It's not coming off as sincere to me. It's still coming off as lust and gluttony. Just trying to keep you stuck in a cycle while he continues to bring new karmics in the energy, to drain more and more and suck more energy out of you. 
while he continued to build with other karmics. So please don't be fooled, don't be manipulated, and don't be lured back into a bullshit cycle with your divine masculine, okay? Due to his trumpet of fucking lies because he might act like he want to come um, together with you. He might display this energy, but however, he's still stuck in this energy, okay? He's still stuck in the player energy. He's still stuck in the caged heart energy, okay? So it's like choices and decisions that you're going to need to make divine feminine when dealing with your divine masculine if he chooses to come back around, okay? So I want to go into what other secrets is the divine masculine hiding? I'm going to go into the twin flame oracle here. And I want to find out the secrets of the divine masculine. And some secrets is he's dealing with, dealing with inner childhood wounds. Okay? He's still dealing with that. And that's been ongoing because all he keeps doing is running from him. All right? He's trying to have this awakening. But I just don't feel like it's working out. I feel like he's even ghosting the fucking awakening. Damn. Due to his fucking ego. Yeah. He's still in his ego. And that's why he's ghosting this twin flame union. Ghosting it, stuck in his ego. And you guys could be finding out this through telepathic communication. Okay? Can you please let me know what are some of the secrets with the Divine Master? And you know we got to go into the Dark Shadows deck. Alright? Let's go into the Dark Shadows energies of the Divine Masculine and let's find out what is his secrets Holy Spirit what is his secrets what is he hiding all right he's hiding the fact that I told you guys that he know about this spiritual journey but it's like he don't give a fuck he want to keep doing him what is he hiding Holy Spirit with the twin flame oracle from his higher self about he's hiding the fact that he kind of feels like he going through this awakening. He want to. Alright. But he's trying to hide the fact that he might want it. He's hiding the fact that he know he left you in a one-sided relationship. A one-sided journey. Just left you putting all the work in while he gave you crumbs. Gave you nothing. Alright. He knows that. And he know that you are growing. You're going through this awakening. You're checking out, and you're probably reaping some of the infinite rewards from this journey, all right, by following your path and doing what you're supposed to be doing, all right? And you're closing out these cycles that no longer serve you, and he knows that, all right? He's trying to, but he's just keeping stuck through lust and temptation, all right? It's almost like the divine said, I told you guys, fated to suffer energy. All right. He know that he have left you lonely, divine feminine. He know he left you lonely because he couldn't close out cycles. But you know, you have now opened up your chakras, mirror energy. He could have opened up his as well, and just starting to look at things in a new perspective, a new a new light. Okay, type of energy here. But he still got a lot of dark energy that concerns me. You know, in the real world, in the 3D world, all right, he do want to connect with you. He could be going through this awakening, all right? He don't quite understand what it is, but he could be going through this in the real world, okay? In the 3D world, not in telepathic communication anymore. I hear karma could be somewhere around, all right? He want to connect with you and have this sacred journey in the real world, in the 3D, not telepathic anymore all right so this is the secret i told you guys he know fully well of what this twin flame journey is he knows fully well okay but he going through a lot of challenges and a lot of these challenges is shit that he created a lot of this is challenges that your divine masculine has created all on his own by being in seductive temp temptuous energy all right so now he's at a crossroads trying to get to you and give you this spiritual journey and go on this path he's at a crossroads because he's too busy being stuck in temptation all right 
He's too busy not healing inner childhood wounds that has now surfaced in his adult life. Okay? He don't even have to be with you, Divine Femme. He can utilize his free will, but he's just too busy stuck on continuing a path of destruction. Okay? Just like I said, he's confused. He don't know what the fuck he's doing. He don't know what road to choose. He's just out there living every day. You know, every day, just going through life, you know, doing the shit that he do. He confused about this twin flame. He's confused about who it is thanks to the karmic because she's trying to be a copycat. All right? If he watched, you know, this video, he can see that it's a lot of copycat energy here, which I have been explaining for quite some time, okay? So he would like to balance some shit out here, okay? He would like to balance some shit out because he's trying to find his self-worth like you did, Divine Feminine, okay? He's trying to find that just like you did, okay? And the bottom card here, like I said, he know that you guys are twin flames. He knows. All right? Even though, you know, people, he could be sharing his energy with other people who think he is fucking crazy. Holy Spirit, what is the divine masculine hiding? What is the dark image energy that the divine masculine is hiding? And I'm using the Twin Flames Shadow Deck. What is the dark energy that he's hiding? What is he hiding from us? What is he hiding from us, Holy Spirit? He's hiding the fact that he's in an uncomfortable situation at this time. He could be in a loveless relationship. He could have ran off with someone else that he thought that was once again going to heal him over you, Divine Feminine. And it turned out to make him feel uncomfortable. He could have even moved in with a slightly new bitch. Okay? And now he feel uncomfortable. Okay? He feel uncomfortable because it's a lot of black magic going on. And this is what I was saying and channeling and feeling. Okay? It's a lot of black magic going on. Cleanse your energy. Save yourself. You know? And stay positive-minded. Pray. You know? All right? And he's stagnant right now due to this black magic. That's why he can't make a move. He might come towards you in this in-and-out energy because every time he comes towards you, that person goes back and pay that person to do that spell again. Okay? This whole situation, this karmic energy, even almost the person that's doing the black magic, and paying for it is all fated to suffer. All right? This is fated to suffer energy. And I have been feeling that for quite a while. Okay? I'm going to leave this power manipulative black magic card to the side. So I can clarify that energy. All right? There's a lot of doubt. Because the divine masculine has been so damn stagnant. He had been quiet, silent. Stagnant energy, but due to black magic, but he now doubt that you will accept him, that you even want to see him, communicate with him, okay? Because he been a fake motherfucker. He been superficial, wearing a fucking mask, ghosting you, bullshitting you, playing fucking mind fuckery with you, trickery, while he out here fucking around with everybody else, spending time with them, ghosting you. Leaving you one-sided, alone, wondering where he at. Okay? But, however, it was through this power and control. Okay? What are the secrets that we need to know? That you guys now feel distant. He feel distant. He have put distance maybe in between a situation or you. Something is over. Something has died. All right. All right. There's repelled energy. Somebody's going to re be repelled when they find out some information. All right. He might have found out something. You know, 
that was shocking to him. And now he could be embarrassed. Somebody could have had found out something about him. They could be spreading rumors. It could be gossip. Something is embarrassing for your divine masculine at this time. All right. It could be due also to black magic. All right. And he was probably repelled when he found out somebody was doing black magic on him. All right. He could be embarrassed to find out that he was ran by black magic, manipulated through black magic. This could be gossip that's getting spread around and now he's embarrassed. All right. And he feel pitiful. It could have been a fight, an altercation. Someone could have gotten arrested here. This is energy that we have been feeling for quite a while. All right. And it's all due to this power and manipulation. Is there any more dark energies that we should be aware about? Holy Spirit. Yes. That he's now being a fucking coward. He's embarrassed. Being a fake ass. Running from bitch to bitch to bitch. Without resolving any issues, just creating more drama and thinking you can run from it. But now that karma is kicking in and I feel it. It's karma on both energies, the karmic and the divine masculine. And now they're being hunted. This karmic is also being hunted by the things that she have did. Okay. Hunted energy, nightmares, you know, shit coming back around. Karma. Okay. I want to clarify with the um, wellness deck. I want to clarify this black magic, this power. Holy Spirit, please give me some energy for this reading. For the divine masculine, this power and control that's been going on through black magic. All right. It's because somebody dumped somebody. They have blocked them. They don't want to talk to them. They got rid of them. So this person has now put black magic on them. This person is angry. This divine masculine could have tried to set boundaries, but this person is pissed. And now this is the way that they're going to handle things. All right. Here's another card. The Grim Reaper. It's because a relationship is over. No more second chances. Somebody trying to change their life and they can't do it with this person. So this person is now left and they're putting black magic on the divine masculine. And because it's what? It's the chaser. It's the person who is codependent upon your divine masculine, okay? The chaser in a codependent relationship. And this person, Karmic, is afraid of being abandoned, all right? They're afraid, all right? I want to clarify, what is this embarrassment? What has embarrassed the divine masculine? Um, chemistry, liking each other equally, having fun. So he thought this was somebody that he was going to have a great time with. It was a lot of passion, a lot of fun. And now he embarrassed about who this bitch turned out to be. Okay. What is this hunted energy? What is this hunted energy? What is this hunted energy, Holy Spirit? That somebody realized that they now missed the chance of happiness with you. They missed this growth. They missed this oneness that y'all had when y'all used to have a lot of fun together. And now they hunted about missing the opportunity and missing the fact that you could probably um, grow off and to share this with somebody else because they was too busy, stuck in self-indulgence. Stuck on their self and what they wanted, on their own addictions. They wasn't doing the shadow work. They wasn't healing like you was. And they stay stuck and not a hunted that you have moved on and that you're going to offer someone else everything that they wanted. Now have decided they want it. All right. So what is this pitiful card? What is this pitiful? That they probably married somebody who got them arrested. Pitiful that they didn't marry you. That they got tied down in some bullshit. They could have gotten into some confrontation or argument about somebody they possibly married or is engaged to. All right. You know, and now they want to offer this commitment to you. They could have 
been some gossip about this. There could have had been a fight about this. Maybe somebody found out about how this person feel about you and what they were going to offer you. And this could have had turned into an altercation. Okay. I want to clarify that again. I get two more cards here. Because receiving what you need, progression, moving on. Yeah, somebody had closure issues. The Divine Masculine tried to move on. Here's the boat. Get on that fucking boat and move on. But, however, there was closer issues here. Okay? Somebody couldn't accept that. All right? Somebody couldn't accept the fact that he wanted to take you on a date and do something different. You know? And express this to you. Possibly propose to you. He could have, you know, somebody could have found out about this. And they say it even through one of his fake-ass friends. Okay, it could have been through a fake ass friend who he thought was a fucking friend that he maybe shared this message with. Okay, that he thought was a friend and they possibly could have told the karmic bitch is what I hear. Okay, the bottom card is divine feminine. The divine masculine is jealous that you're into your own world. You're living your own life. He is secretly jealous and envious of this. Okay, he is jealous that you're moving on. That you are just happy being single. You're living in the moment and you're having fun. Okay? While he's out here battling hoes, having financial problems, struggling in situations, and don't even know his fucking self. Okay? So that's what's happening with the Divine Masculine at this time. So let's see and move on to some more energies. Okay? The next energy I want to get out is, what's wrong with this motherfucker? Okay? What's brewing with him? He's trying to get his life together. So the bottom card is, he's trying to come in after you. Okay? He's trying to come in after you, Divine Fem. So, what is Divine Masculine hiding, Holy Spirit? What is the Divine Masculine hiding, Holy Spirit? What is he hiding? What is his secrets, Holy Spirit? We want to know in what's brewing. What is he hiding? What is his secrets? Alrighty, Holy Spirit, what is the Divine Masculine hiding? Let me know his secrets. What is his secrets? What is he hiding? Give us the tea. What's brewing? That he is running away from a situation that is not servicing him at this time. He's the runner. He's running away from you, other karmics, and everything. He's a runner. He's creating shit that he can't tolerate. So his best option is to run away and feed his bullshit to somebody who don't fucking know him. Okay? Because what the fuck I say, he know he fucked up. Okay? He fucked up. All these fucked up ass choices, decisions, hoes, karmics, sluts, baby mama drama, wife issues, ex-wife issues, lies, deception, deceit. Everything is backfiring. All his karma is coming into play with your divine masculine. And now he is realizing that he has fucked up. Okay? What else is happening? What else is he hiding, Holy Spirit? He's hiding the fact that he got manipulated and played. All right. He was in his narcissist energy. So somebody manipulated and played and was a narcissist with you have the divine masculine. He's hiding the fact that he is a manipulator and a narcissist and a fucking player and a liar and a deceiver. He's hiding that fact that he loved to live a trumpet of lies. We already seen that and knew that. OK, the next energy is guess what he had, y'all. Y'all ass. He hiding the divine feminine. Okay? He keeping y'all a secret. They're keeping us a secret. They don't want us to know what's going on here. Okay? They don't want us to know what's going on. Okay? So you already know he was keeping your secret. Divine said you want to know the fucking secrets? He still once again said you a fucking secret. Okay? He keeping all these private relationships a secret. He have multiple private relationships going on. 
multiple karmics, multiple people he keep bringing to the circle. He is keeping all that shit a secret. The divine masculine is a fucking mystery. Okay? He have multiple and triple lives going on here. Okay? But however, he wants to come in and set the ruckus straight. He said, God damn, that queen of wine's beating me up again. Now he want to come in and set the record straight, which he have tried to do on multiple occasions, but only turn out to be bullshit. Okay? Bullshit. Because then, when we see all this shit, nothing's changed. He's stuck on the same cycle, the same page of bullshit, only introducing more drama to the party. Okay? What else is he hiding, Holy Spirit? What is his secrets? What is he hiding? What else is he hiding, Holy Spirit? What else is he hiding? That, you know, through all of this, he's trying to align himself. It could be divine intervention going on, okay? They could be stepping in here, trying to deal with situations your divine masculine can't, all right? He's also trying to mirror your energy of aligning themselves with the universe, okay? What else is secretly happening here? He could be praying at night, crying at night, hoping for situations to change. All right? Because, once again, he still give out fake-ass apologies. All right? Sorry about the glare, but this is still a fake-ass apology. And this is probably what he came in and gave you. This is what he offered. Okay? And this is what he probably want to offer again. A fake ass apology. Divine is saying, be aware. Okay? What else is he hiding, Holy Spirit? That he make bad ass choices. He don't know how to think properly. You know, things that don't um, make sense, he jump right into it. You know, he take on anything that he is offered. He is a follower and not a leader. All right. This is high school mentality where you just jump on the jump in the goddamn car and do what everybody else do. You know, this is still immaturity. And some of you motherfuckers are way grown to be making these stupid ass bad choices, immature behavior. But you're only driving off of your dick. And most of these people are trying to chase young pussy. OK, that they can't even handle on down the line. But they're so stuck in their lust and temptation and their ego. You know, these bitches don't even want y'all. Y'all stuck in a bunch of short-term shit. Y'all just feeding off y'all ego. And then once y'all are drained and no fucking good and tired, old, skinny, gray, you think somebody want to deal with you then? Just stupid choices, fake-ass, you know, energy. Nothing sincere. Really know what you're getting yourself into, Divine Fam. Okay? You know, this is, you know, making bad choices, having to fight their way out of situations, fight their way through karmic energy. Okay? Just getting into it with motherfuckers because of the shit that they're doing, the choices that they're making. Okay? And possibly dealing with a fucking pregnancy. You know, lying about that, keeping that a secret as well. Keeping the fact that some shit is over, game over for these motherfuckers, something ended. And they could be keeping that a secret. It could be a commitment. It could have been a divorce. And it also could be sentencing. Somebody is going to fucking jail and this shit is over. There's my fucking ringer with confirmation. Okay? There's my ringer. God damn. Somebody promiscuous. There's that whole card. Somebody been out here being a fucking hoe. Game over for this motherfucker. Time to put your dick up. Enough of being a hoe, divine masculine. Okay? And now you want to come in and fight for what you want? Who wants a promiscuous hoe? Your community property at this time. Okay? What else do we need to know? What else are you hiding? You said go through a whole fucking deck with this motherfucker, huh? All right. Anything else that we need to know with this deck, Holy Spirit? Nope. But he said, I do want y'all to know this shit. It's some shit that fell a fucking part. This motherfucker could have been dealing with three bitches. 
It could have got caught up in some shit. Okay? But some shit is over and some shit fell apart. And that's some more of what's brewing with the Divine Masculine and what secrets that he's hiding. Let's go on to another deck. Alright? Gotta give y'all what y'all watch the Queen of Wands for. Okay? So this is Destined Love Oracle. And what else he hiding is a goddamn family. Okay? Told you this motherfucker got a possible double life going on here. Okay? And the fact that he hiding is he trying to go with the flow and act like ain't shit happening. Ain't shit bugging him. He ain't got no secrets. Okay, that's what he acting like. And he trying to take action in the situation. Alright, he could be traveling somewhere. But he also could be trying to take action towards you, Divine Femme. What else is he hiding, Holy Spirit? What else is he hiding? The Divine Masculine. What is his secrets? That he could be in a commitment or he could be taking action towards you, Divine Femme, to make and offer a commitment. Okay, um, he could possibly want to go on a trip with you. He could be traveling to you. He could be at a distance. Okay, he could be planning a trip. Somebody is going by plane or traveling by plane someplace. Okay, um, relocation is happening. Somebody's moving because it was a breakup. Somebody's putting distance between themselves. Somebody could have been in a commitment that broke up. It didn't make it. It could have been an engagement. It could have been a marriage. And there was a breakup and somebody had to move away. Okay? Or somebody left a situation. They could have moved to another state. Okay? But now somebody wants to come in and be loyal to you. After all this heartache, pain, and drama. All right? Somebody wants to come in and be loyal to you. And somebody's watching from behind the scenes because they're completely jealous. Envious. Jealousy. Okay? Because they broke up. Because somebody wants to be loyal to you. And now it's a lot of jealousy. Okay? So be aware too. Your divine masculine could be jealous. He could think that you have something else going on. So he could be also stalking and watching you from afar. Okay? He's trying to see if you're loyal to someone else. Okay? And also, he is very toxic. Alright? He's hiding the fact that he's very toxic. He's dealing with somebody toxic as well as himself being toxic. Okay? He tried to be loyal to somebody else. He hiding that from you, Divine Fem. He tried to offer this commitment to somebody else. Alright? And it didn't work out. It was a breakup here. And now he's jealous that you possibly have moved on from his toxic ass, his toxic bullshit, his toxic ass karmic shit. Now he's jealous watching from the scenes that you don't want his rotten toxic ass who always come in and try to steal your fucking high vibing energy to his low vibing toxicity. Okay? But however, he want your forgiveness. Okay? He wants your forgiveness. And maybe you guys can just be fucking friends at least. Okay? That's what he's hoping. Okay? Because he's still holding on to a fucking karmic partner here. As you see in this picture, he's still holding the hand of that bitch. Okay? They might have their backs turned towards each other, but they still hold the hands. Okay? And he could still be holding on to a goddamn karmic. Okay? The next energy that he hiding... Is because this karmic could possibly be pregnant. This karmic could have some kids. They could have some kids together that you didn't even know about. Okay? And she could also be expecting. Okay? But I don't feel like he's faithful to this karmic either. This is just the karmic that he got pregnant. In addition to the others. Okay? What else is he hiding? What? I told you guys. This motherfucker got a lot of secrets. He got a lot of more secrets. Divine is saying it's way more than what the fuck is happening here. Okay? He's also spying and the karmic is spying. Okay? They're just spying. Everybody's stalking and seeing what the fuck you got going on. Because they jealous that they shit is fucking miserable. 
All right? So they want to see what the fuck you got going on. The karmic bitch want to see if he's going to offer you this fresh start. I feel like this is a used motherfucking fresh start. This motherfucker burnt out, broke up, used up sexually. Okay? He probably can't even get a rise. Okay? So burnt out sexually. Can he offer you a fresh start? Okay? It's been a hag community property. Okay? But however, they're stuck in fear. They know that they continue to ghost you. Okay? And they're stuck in fear. So they're stuck in fear and they're in fear of rejection from you. Okay? Now, it was easy for them to go ahead and reject you. Okay? But now they're worried. And the shoe is on the other foot if you're going to reject them. All right? You know, they want this marriage and this commitment with you, Divine Fem. Okay? They really do. They want to um, propose to you. They want to offer your hand in marriage. Okay? Now, please be aware that this is how the karmic get their energy about what's going on. Okay? With this union. Hey, thumbs down, bitch. Okay? All right, so he wants to give you this gift, okay? He wants to give you a gift, Divine Fam. The secret is he wants to take you on a trip, Divine Fam. The secret is he know you've been waiting, Divine Fam, okay? The secret is that he wants you to go with the flow. So he wants you to overlook his bullshit and go with the flow. He wants to put that in the past, overlook that, keep that motherfucking elephant in the room, and just go with the flow, Divine Fem, okay? But he know now that you have set boundaries against his bullshit. You ain't having it no more. You stronger. You said, hold up, wait a minute, stop, motherfucker. I'm, I smell your rotten ass, okay? Because you secretly know that this motherfucker got a family, and now he want to make you a priority or have a family with you but just be aware this motherfucker could already have a family okay that's another secret okay so i'm just going to give you guys some closing energies all right to let you know you know in addition to um all of his secrets we're still going to look and find out more <laughs> We're nosy, okay? He do want you to stand by his side, okay? He do want that, but he's not using his intuition. What are some more secrets, Holy Spirit? We just nosy, and we want to go in on these secrets and stuff. He needs to detox his life, his body, his mind, his soul, his environment, his people, his friends, his thought process. All right, his mental um, thinking, all right? And this is the energy that I feel. A lot of these divine masculines are up for sentencing. They're about to get sentenced on some shit. They got consequences to pay for some shit that they have done, okay? That is karma. It's just ahead. Divine to let you know, all right? And it is this, the um, your divine masculine wants to reconcile with you. All right? He wants to reconcile. You have a returning ex, okay? Which is your divine masculine. He want to be with you. He miss you. It's a lot of passion, okay? He wants to work together as a team, okay? He want to work together. But just be aware, with this energy, he could be working with somebody that he fucking at work to, Okay? He could be working with somebody at work that he got something going on with. Here's that pregnancy test shit. Somebody is trying to trap the divine masculine with a pregnancy. Okay? And they're trying to get a test. And the test is negative. But they're trying to trap him with a pregnancy. Okay? To keep him. Alright? So some things have happened. And there's going to be a change of plans in his life. Alright? There could have been some male... It could have been a change of a court date, all right? It could have been change of a start date of a job, of a move date, okay? There's a change. Somebody's moving and leaving. And the energy I hear is that somebody could be moving to fucking jail, okay? That's the new address, you know? 
Hate to be the bearer of bad news. I just hear jail. Okay. What else is the divine masculine hiding? All right. That he need to heal. He need to change. That he not ready. He gone stuck in slow motion. He not ready to slow down. He just want to keep doing him without healing. All right. And he's letting you know that he don't listen to his intuition. All right. It's almost like he don't use his own fucking brain. He allow others to think and make decisions for him. He get caught up in the moment because he's always fucking drunk or, you know, just trying to hang with the party. He is that follower and not that leader. Okay. Just always out of it. You know, how can you just live your life under what other people influence you to do? You know, aren't we grown here? Okay. However, the divine masculine might end up buying a lottery ticket and getting lucky. All right. And maybe this is how, you know, he will be able to get that damn wedding ring. Okay. So divine masculine, if you have financial issues, get out there and buy that damn lottery ticket. Okay. Buy that lottery ticket. Pay somebody off. Okay. This is divine masculine. Know that you could be a star seed or a light worker or that empath divine fam. He know that shit. You know, he know that his job is to uplift humanity. He's been getting this message from the universe. Okay. Any more secrets or messages we need to know? All right. That your divine masculine is definitely at a crossroads. All right. He's stuck in his energy, but they let him know whatever road that they choose, there is no good or bad choice. And you really need to choose wisely. All right. But he's definitely stuck at an indecision state right now. Okay. Anything else we need to know about the divine masculine? Any more secrets? Any more energies that he need water therapy? All right. I knew somebody needs some damn water therapy, that salt bath. Okay. Cleansing your mind, body, and soul. Why walking in water, cleansing your feet so all your problems can fade away and go with the flow of life. Okay. Is there any more secrets or anything else we need to know? Something will happen within the next three to four weeks. Within the Divine Masculine, something will happen. Okay? And it's involving an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. Something will happen. Okay? I know you guys said, what? What's going to happen? Okay, I'll put that card to the side. Okay? Let me see anything else that we need to know. That somebody needs to take action in a situation. All right. Come out that stagnant energy. And the divine masculine might ask you guys or somebody for a loan. Okay. So the energy I want to clarify before I let you guys go is here's that water energy, that water therapy again, that the divine masculine needs to cleanse that energy. He definitely need a heavy detox. Okay. That's for sure. So what I'm going to clarify for you guys is what's going to happen in this three or four weeks. Okay. What's going to happen within the three or four weeks with the Divine Masculine, Holy Spirit. That he might make that love call to you guys. You might hear from him. He might pour out his heart and let you know how he truly feel. Okay. What's going to happen? The runner. He's going to make that love call. Your Divine Masculine. Okay, what's going on with this air sign? Uh oh, this is another card. And they said it's going to be abundant. Your divine masculine could call you after his ass hit the fucking lottery. All right? But don't be fooled by finances, please. Okay? Don't let finances wash away all the hurt and pain that he have caused you. Okay? Don't let the money ruin that. Okay? Don't, don't let the money forget that. You know, keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. So he's trying to manifest positivity. He's definitely praying, seeking divine intervention. Okay. What's going on with this air sign energy, Holy Spirit? Please help me clarify this. With my Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Something's over. Here's the air sign that wants truth and clarity. Okay. You're not settling for less. All right. And you want to take back your own power. And you're protecting yourself from the bullshit. 
This could also be you, Divine Fem, and your Queen of Swords energy. Not taking it. No more. You want only happiness, joy. You want oneness. And you want to enjoy who you're with. And if you can't get that, you'd rather be alone. Okay? Is there any more messages for the Divine? Yes. And that there's a relationship with this air sign energy that is over. The Grim Reaper has stepped in. And the curtain has now closed. This could be a karmic cycle that is over. It's no more second chances. It's time for the Divine Masculine to let this go so he can grow. Something is completely over. This could have something to do with jail. Okay? It could have something to do with jail. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys dealing with the Divine Masculine. If you want your own personal reading, please email me at queenofwines50 at gmail.com. And thank you guys for liking, sharing, and describing, subscribing. I try to give you guys as much as energy as I can for the Divine Masculine. Have a great night and a great day. Bye.